Alright, so uh, I got a new project for you guys. Um, this is just going to be uh, another one of my custom intakes. Um, kind of like we did on Plain Jane. Um, this project is going to be uh, 351 based. And I just picked up this lower intake off of uh, eBay. I think it was like 160 bucks or something, real cheap. Had some fuel rails. Nice little piece. We'll probably pour it on a little bit. Um, on Plain Jane we did a uh, sheet metal intake. On this one, we're actually going to do it out of uh, composite. So um, I had this left over from the Plain Jane project, and uh, kind of going to model it after this uh, again. The idea, uh, the look, um, and the functionality actually work pretty good. Uh, so we'll probably go with something like this. Probably have to extend it a little bit and maybe uh, alter some of the angles um, so it'll release from the mold. Because, um, like I said, this this one will be a uh, uh, carbon fiber uh, type type deal. Um, and so what you're looking at is, is, is something like this when we're finished. Basically the first thing that we're going to do is um, put our design uh, on paper or cardboard or whatnot. Kind of, uh, we know the measurements so we're going to kind of lay it out as if uh, you, you cut these seams and flattened it. Um, that's the idea at least and sometimes it's harder than, than you would think just because it's hard for your mind to think uh, two-dimensional um, sometimes you can uh, just cut strips out and, and tape them together and then and then cut the seams and lay it out and that'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, this particular one was pretty easy just because um, I stuck the standard angles. Uh, basically you got your 45's and, and um, well basically everything's done in a, in a 45 or like a, a 30 degree. So I just like to use these two. On this particular project, because it's carbon fiber, we're actually going to have to um, make these edges slightly angled on both sides. Uh, what that's going to do is allow it to, to pop out of the mold a little bit easier, uh, even the edges out here. So it's going to be slightly harder to come up with this just because when you angle this side here, you obviously don't want to angle your throttle body side. So when you angle this side of the intake here, you're actually going to have to come up with this compound angle on those two so a little bit harder uh, maybe one of those deals where I'll do what I know and then uh, cut it out and we'll fold it up and then kind of see uh, what we've got left to make it happen um, but you know like they say every good design starts on paper um, this will kind of minimize uh, uh, the amount of um, effort that we put once we get it to 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 the metal stage um, I like to uh, to draw it out, we'll cut it, um, fold it up, tape it, and then you can actually stick it on the intake, make sure all your clearances are right, um, make sure the bolt holes are going to be accessible, the throttle body blade uh, lever is going to clear, um, it, you know, it'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like, um, you know, that's that's a big thing for me is, is the way it looks too, you, you obviously want it to look, to look good and be functional. Um, this particular one, we're going to have a little bit of trouble with the um, the distributor clearance. Um, so that's something we're going to have to look at. Um, may have to actually tap another hole in the lower uh, just to make it just to make it fit right. All right, so here we go. Got it all cut out. Um, I just took a razor blade, trimmed it out around the edges here. You can see uh, i got several lines uh, where I'd made some changes. I'd get halfway through and I'd be like, oh, you know, that's not going to work. And have to end up changing it up. Now, I left the line so I could go back and reference if it happens not to be right. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to pop this thing out. And um, should... Uh, <clears throat> fold right up and you guys are gonna see this right along with me I'm not <clears throat> hadn't even got it out of here yet not really sure if it's uh gonna fold up right now I took this little um this little tool I got and I actually this came from I don't know radio shack or something it's not even made for what I used it for but it's got an edge on it it's not really sharp but it works good to kind of uh, just score the uh, the corners that we're gonna bend um, I've already scored it, 
you see that it bends pretty easily on that straight line there. So what I'm going to do now is we pop it out. It's a, it's a two-dimensional uh, image. Um, I'm usually pretty good at figuring this out, so we'll see how this thing comes together. Uh, heck, I don't know. It may not work at all, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm just going to give it a little bend right there. This works great too if you if you're making one of these out of steel, you can actually cut it out not steel or aluminum either way. Uh, I just say steel. The last one that I made was out of steel. You can actually use this flat. The reason I do it like this is because you can use this flattened image to um, you just lay it right on your piece of sheet metal, trace it out, cut it, and bend it on on the same lines. Um, whereas if you didn't, you have to cut each piece out individually and weld it. Uh, this way it actually cuts down on the welding. You don't have to weld here. Um, you know, you don't have to weld there. Bend this one, you don't have to weld there. I mean, it, and it just makes a lot cleaner piece once you're done. No welding there. I mean, if you did it piece by piece, you actually have to cut each one of these out and weld them. Whereas if you just do it flat, um, it, it really makes a much cleaner, cleaner piece. Let's see here. Now I did leave off one section. Um, you can see how that, that all that fits right together like that. Um, I left off this piece here uh, just because I couldn't quite figure out how to how to determine what what it was going to look like the shape of it uh, with these two angles, you know, because this piece has got to lay this way instead of straight up and down. Um, so I figured what I would do is. Just bend it all out, and then um, I could actually lay a piece behind there and get get a pretty good idea of of what fits in there, and then we can cut it out separately and, and tape it on, and then hinge it out. Um, doesn't look like it turned out too bad. If you can see that. Basically, it's the same same deal as this one here, except for that. Um, this one goes straight here, and this one actually flares a little bit. And what that does is allows this this side here to have a, a kind of an angle to it, and the same thing with this side. Um, and like I said, it's just going to allow uh, the, the carbon fiber piece to pop out of the mold much easier once once we make it. All right, there's one thing that I wanted to show you uh, before we get to the steel part. I made a I made the lower. Uh, it was just a four-piece deal, very simple. Folded it up and, and taped it to the upper hair. Uh, you always want to test fit these out before you, you get into the steel part. Um, it's much easier to make any kind of corrections now beforehand. You want to put it on here, make sure the distributor is clear as well, it comes in and out. Uh, Put your throttle body on there, make sure the lever um, doesn't have any clearance issues, no fuel line um, issues. Um, I basically just got this lower sitting on this uh, short block here, no cylinder heads. I just made sure I lined it up properly uh, just to get an idea of the, of the height. You want to look at it, make sure the look looks good. Check out everything. You don't want it hanging off the back. You don't want it hanging off the front. You just want to kind of look at it as a finished piece. Once you get that done, we'll split the lower from the upper, and then we'll break it out and flatten both images right, and, so, and um, cut them out. That concludes the, the build, or the uh, design portion of this build. Um, basically went through, you know, how to, how to draw it up, lay it up, get the idea, uh, use the components, you know, that, I, that I've shown you. Um, draw it out, make your, make your first, first uh, piece, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, the next stage is going to be actually building the molds out of steel and I'll show you how we're going to lay up the carbon fiber and um, do all that kind of stuff. A uh, couple notes, uh, definitely uh, subscribe uh, so you'll see when the, when the next uh, portion is, is posted of this build. Um, also, you can visit my forum, uh, thefabforums.com. Um, you'll be able to use our resource page on there. It's going to show you where to get all these components at that we use in these builds. 
uh, let you talk to other people that, that do fabrication type stuff. You can ask questions. I'd love for you guys to post your own um, builds that you're doing. Um, these principles can be used on anything. I'm actually using it on a Mustang, um, but you can use it on, on anything that you're building. Uh, the principles are all the same. Um, you just have to kind of manipulate them to fit, fit your needs. So definitely subscribe, subscribe to uh, my YouTube page. Uh, check out the fab forms, post your own stuff, ask questions. Uh, you'll have to log in in order to view some of our pages. Uh, our resource page and stuff is just for members. It's all free, don't cost nothing. Log in, check it out, ask questions, um, and let's, let's see your builds. So, check it out, thefabforms.com. Tell us about it. Um, I don't know. Say, these are, these are fuel rails right here. This is the intake. Okay, you do it. This is the fuel rail and the intake. Look right here. And this is what we actually do. So if you supply the mint, it will all get infection. But right here is where we are going to um, supply the milk. So I would actually tell you that um, it's not going to uh, look at the uh, female. So we have to get this taped on the side so it will get the female.